Hey everyone, Parso here, and welcome back to another Space Engineers, sh well, I say ship review, but uh, it's not really a ship today, looking at a station. Um, yeah, anyways, this is the Basalt Communication Station, just a little thing I just found on the workshop now, and it's got a really, really nice design language to it, sort of very unique, kind of, I guess, like, moon basey sort of themed, but not quite, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of, like, um, uh, so, I don't know, it gives, gives me Rogue One vibes, uh, if you've seen that movie, but um, I thought that might make any sense. But anyways, let's get on with the tour. So, I'll just do a little fly around of the exterior here. As you can see, it's sort of two, like, rectangle sort of shapes on top of each other. Very sort of simple design uh, at a glance, but if I, okay, you know what, I might go in uh, this little spectator camera here, just so I don't drift around. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the bottom level here, and this is just held up by four different little support things there. And they've got a sort of very simple, but uh, nice design to them. And just so you know, this is a blueprint as well, so you can just paste it in your world, or if you want, you can print it, and I suppose use merge blocks to attach it to the ground if you're in survival or something like that. But anyways, we've got the old-fashioned ladder here, and that just goes up to the top. Again, following the sort of theme that the stilts have here of the red little, like, line, I guess. Uh, but yeah, up here we've got a little wolf here, which I'm going to assume is got something to do with the builders of this and their faction. We've got a little button panel here, some other little buttons. We've got a hinge block here, which I believe is... I want to say that's there for detail, but I have a feeling that those are doors that close. Or something of that nature, I guess we'll soon find out. Because that doesn't look like it's... Yeah, there's two things of glass there. Yeah, I'm going to assume that that closes up. Um, but yeah, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, moving on... We've got, actually, I also want to just uh, complement the little white sort of outcrop here against the black here. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, anyways, moving up, we've got these neon lights here, which are supposed to be like tubes or something. I guess you could say that's like some sort of gas cylinder or something. And we've just got a little piston head there, which that's attached to. And I guess that just adds some little detail there. And we've got a, another one of those there and another one down there. We've also got four little... Uh, sets of neon lights there which are yellow and we've got an orange one over here as well as that we've got a good use of some tires here from the looks of it and I believe those are tires I don't know what else they could be but they uh, they sort of I don't know they uh, I guess it's like they complement this little cylinder thing here add a bit of detail and stuff and we've got an exhaust block here from the looks of it got some piston heads here on top of some little cylinders there again adding some more detail and those are just got some pistons there as well from the looks of things got a little railing here with a little red light here got a nice little cylindrical window outlook here and sort of got the same that we saw on the other side on this side here as well on the lower level we've just got another cylindrical window and another one there, and I believe there's also another one on this side as well. Yeah, it's pretty much just the same everywhere, so it's sort of just this area where a lot of the details focus, but there's nothing wrong with that. So we've got this little sort of like upwards antenna here, as you can see, and that's sort of got like a, another sort of false one there, using another exhaust block. And it looks like we've got some laser antennas there as well, so I guess you can beam back stuff from far away and such. And we've got a little sort of like a railing up here, which I guess is just meant to be some uh, some other antenna tower sort of thing. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, we'll go into the interior now. Not going to bother climbing up that ladder because that would take way too long. But we'll just look at these buttons here. So, oh, it's got a fancy button panel. I guess, yeah, okay, so that's the doors there. If you press that button just on your way up. And... I imagine that would just close up. I imagine it might make a bit of like a triangle sort of shape there, unless... Oh no, I guess it just closes up like that. Wow. Look at that, isn't that pretty fancy? So I suppose that's if you didn't want anyone sneaking into your base while you're away and stuff, you can uh, just put that there. Wow, look at that. That just tucks in real nice. Okay, well I'll just open that back up. 
very good use of the hinge block there. I myself couldn't ever do anything as, uh, and I'm gonna, this is going to sound terrible, but as advanced as that, I uh, haven't got too friendly with the old hinge block there. And I'm going to assume that, okay, yeah, and so that little button panel there would be how you open it from the inside. So I imagine that would close in. In fact, you know what, let's just close that now. And I imagine we're going to be nice and tucked in in here. I don't think we can walk out there as well because there's going to be blocks in the way. That's a very cool sort of access port though. I've got a little door here as well, just so it's airtight. Nice little, little sort of uh, airlock here. Got a vent there, so I guess you can use this in survival if you're very, I guess, wary of your loss of oxygen and stuff like that. Yeah, so you can just access that button panel there. For the time being though, I'll just close that. And I guess we... Cl oh, look, and you got it. Oh, look at that. Three buttons just to open those doors. We'll press that there, and I imagine that's going to start to pressurize the little chamber we're in, and then that'll let us leave any minute now. Okay, this is taking a suspiciously long amount of time. Is this not airtight? Okay, uh, we're not going to tell the creators of this build I just did that, but um, you saw nothing. Look. Uh, there was a green door, a green window there, the entire time. Wait, what? Did I, I swear I just placed that. What? There, okay, look at that. That was there, all the time. Original part of the build. If you download it from the workshop, you'll find that. So, yeah, anyways, moving on. We've got some little crates here. Some little green, red, and grey ones. If you want to colour code your items and stuff like that, just makes the place look a bit nicer. Like, I don't know, I suppose it sort of fills in the empty space there. That's cool. Over here we can look through the windows and you can see the little moon landscape there. Got some ore over there as well from the looks of it. And also it looks like we've got some nice sort of little uh, like ceiling support things here using just some slopes. So that's, that's pretty nice. I like that detail. Over here it doesn't look like we've got anything. It's just like a nice little decorated wall. Again, that looks very nice. It's a very nice sort of looking uh, little interior here. It's very simple, but I mean that doesn't hurt got some cool windows here using what uh, look like... Oh wow, those are the tables. Okay, that is some very, very good use of those. And we've got just windows behind that. Okay, I thought those were like hangar doors and that. That makes them for some really cool, uh, I guess, window borders there. And we've got the smaller one over here. That's a real... I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on. Looks like we've got a bit of a storage room here. You've got the, some programmable blocks there. And just some shelves and the gravity generator there. Uh, I'm not sure how useful that is on the moon. It looks like that's actually in effect though, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, I guess it is being used. Over here we've got a gun locker there, as you can see. We've got some weapons. And we'll go over here before we go upstairs. And we've got a nice little medical room. Again, very simple, but that never really hurts. And we've got some toilets. I imagine there's another one. No. So we've got a little med bay there, so you can use this in survival to respawn. A little, little science table here and two, I don't know, like, scanner things, the lion, I don't remember the name, CT scan things, whatever they're called, anyways, we'll just close that. Uh, over here, let's see, we've got, I think this is the, like the bedrooms, if we go upstairs, yeah, okay, so we've got the little uh, beds here, so there's only three beds, I'm not too sure if these are the only ones, I only had a very brief look but I imagine this station would support more than three people. But anyways, we've got a lot of lockers here. And nothing back here. Got the toilet back here. And look at that. Okay, two toilets for three people. I guess that works out. It's a lot of lockers for three people though. I don't know about you. And we've got another little sort of storage thing back here. And I think that is just about everything. No, it looks like we've got something in here as well. Okay, we've got a little like terrarium sort of thing, little hangout area. This is a very nice sort of room here. Got the wood skin using a dark sort of brown color. Make it look like, I guess, uh, I want to say like spruce wood or something like that. Not too sure if that's the color of actual spruce wood. I'm just going off Minecraft logic there. But uh, we've got a cool use of the magnetic pad here to make it the sort of little dining table. A lot of really uh, good things we're seeing in this build so far. Around the seats though, we've got some little plants there and they look very nice. Got a nice sort of like warmer light colour here, makes it feel a bit more natural as opposed to the more sterile lights that are in the other room. 
And if we just look out the window here, we can see a little bit of earth in the background there. And we've also got some light panels there and some here. And I guess this is just space you can do stuff with, I suppose. You could maybe build like some little like small grid drones here or something. You could even turn this into a little like hangar bay if you really wanted to. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's just keep the tour going. Just close these doors. And over here, what's in here? Okay, oh yeah, here's so uh, here's like a bar. And are those beds up there? No, okay. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we've got a little bar sort of dining area back here. So we've got a pretty big kitchen from the looks of things. Little, only one grill, but a lot of like tables and that. We've got two sinks. That's pretty handy. Again, for three beds, this place seems pretty uh, pretty large. And back here, we've got two toilets, I'm going to imagine. Yep, so no shortage of toilets. That's always good to see. And we've got a cool little, like, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, but it's using the... I believe these are the warfare windows and the corridors back there, but that sort of makes it look like there's a bit of like a room up there or something like that. That's pretty cool. And again, we've got the sort of uh, ceiling supports there. Then they sort of make those rounded windows that look very nice. Anywho, moving on. I believe that's everything for the downstairs area. I've got a cool little like thing here. I wonder if these buttons do anything. No, it looks like they're just there for detail. Okay, well, I guess we'll go upstairs now. So we've got a nice little staircase here. And is that outside? Okay, look at that. Well, we've got like some little windows there and you can see the gap between the two sort of living spaces there. So that's pretty neat. And it looks like it brings us up to this sort of lobby room up here. So I guess we'll go through this window, or this, sorry, this door first. Looks like we've just got a bit of like an analyst room, little computer area. Not too sure what the purpose of this upstairs bit is here, but again, I suppose it adds detail uh, of some sort. Over here, we've got another little window. Again, you could probably turn this into a little like hanger thing. Doesn't really seem to have that much of a function going on, but uh, to each their own. And up here as well, we've got use of those sort of tabled windows. I'm going to call them, seeing they're using tables, but it uh, looks like we've got no windows here but it kind of looks like it's got like I don't know, shutters on or something or like that to stop radiation and such and it looks like we've just got a mirror on the other side although I don't think that was on the other side but uh, oh hang on it looks like we've got a seat here and it doesn't have any buttons or anything so that's a bit disappointing but again I guess it's not a ship so I don't really think there's much need for that scene it is just a living space so it looks like this upstairs area is quite modifiable to uh, it, it fits, uh, like serve your own needs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Obviously, I'm not going to crash it. So, uh, just kidding. We are going to crash it. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. I put some thrusters on it. Uh, should make for a good crash, I hope. We might try and aim for this ice lake here. Seeing it wasn't designed for flight, I uh, did a quick job with the thrusters, but you know. We'll see how it goes. That's what we're about on this channel, experimenting with uh, new things and such. I'm imagining those little supports at the bottom are probably going to be the first thing to come off. Those little pods as well might make for good little ships if you were to like separate it. You could maybe have like a little, like that top part could maybe detach or something. Anyways, it looks like we're going to get there real soon. My no, night no, feels like we're hardly even falling. Come on. Here we go. Buckle up everybody. This is this is gonna be probably the best crash you've ever seen, as it is a spaceship after all. Clearly. Any minute now. Okay, I'm sorry for hyping this up. This is definitely been a lot slower than I had anticipated, but anyways, look, here we are. Woohoo. Wow. Fascinating. What an incredible crash. Uh, okay, and it looks like it was a pretty pathetic crash anyways. I mean, oh no wait, never mind. Look, this looks like we've got some stuff happening at the front there. So I'll just teleport the spectator camera to us. And we'll have a little inspect, why don't we? Okay. So it looks like we've lost... 
how much. Okay, so this is the little sort of meeting room we were in before, and it looks like we haven't really... Oh, wow, okay, it looks like pretty much nothing was damaged except some glass and a wall. I mean, and this room got sort of destroyed, but there was nothing really happening in here. Okay, well, look at that, I guess. Um, props to the builders on this one, because... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Looks like we've got some more damage over here. Uh, I can't remember what that was. That might have just been on another wall. Oh, wait, actually. Oh, no, okay, those are the stairs there. Yeah, okay, I think there was a room in here. Looks like it might have... Okay, so I think this was the... Yeah, this was where the beds were up here. They were... That's the little catwalk they were attached to. Okay, well, never mind. It looks like that was not half bad of a crash. We've also got some of the damage curving around here to the top room here. It looks like, okay, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And we've lost a leg, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I think that's going to be all for today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're at 371 subscribers as of the recording that like I'm re at this time yep uh hopefully we can get to 500 in the next few months that'd be really good uh anyways yeah have a good rest of your day and uh see ya bye